What's up guys? So I don't have a ton of light going on over here, but that's gonna be fine. Three microwave capacitors, uh, wired in parallel, and then the microwave transformer. And then I've set up this Jacob's Ladder here. And let's see how it does. So my goal is eventually to take take what I did with this little portable prototype version. And scale that up to a really big version. And I might even be able to completely remove, if I could push enough force there through this crack, uh, or if I point to them, you know, the opposite way like this, and I uh, push forced air through them, I want to blow the plasma up uh, into the air and create a blade instead of just uh, having it have to follow the copper rails. So for those of you wondering, what I'm doing here is learning that the further I put those two metal bars apart, the easier it is to blow out the spark. And so right here I'm testing to see if my existing concept for the plasma sword would work if I just pressed some air beneath it with the EDF, but it doesn't seem to rise up the ladder. So what I learned here today is, one, I need a little bit higher voltage, uh, just the 2000 or 20, 2100 volts coming out of the microwave transformer is not enough to create a spark or initiate its own spark uh, when the blades are just super duper close, it just, it won't connect. I'll probably need like at least 6000 volts uh, to make it work, so that's three microwave transformers in series. I'll need higher rated capacitors uh, because the regular ones I have here for the microwave won't work unless I get a whole bunch of them. So I don't know if anyone else has been thinking of the same style of lightsaber, but that's that's my concept. I think it'd be kind of neat to get something like this actually working. So if you guys want to follow along in these projects as I do them, feel free to hit that subscribe button and stay notified. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'm only wearing a hat because my hair is kind of a disaster. So, uh, you know, people always ask questions when I wear hats.